Hey guys, this is Jonathan Feist with DroneRush.com. We spent some time with Atlas Dynamics at Interdrone 2017. Join us for a quick overview of the new Atlas Pro UAV platform. We're Atlas Dynamics, right? We're a company uh, that was founded in 2015 by aerospace experts from the field of aerospace and satellite. We're located in Latvia, in the Baltics. And what we do, we are an aerospace company providing drone-based solution. A little bit about us before we dive into what you see here. At Atlas, we believe the drones should become an accessible everyday tool that optimize society time and money while saving life. Now let's focus on the accessible everyday tool because this is the most important thing. When we look at the potential of drones, we look at it like the potential of the screwdriver. It's a tool, it should be accessible, and it's address any industry. It should be easy to use. So why don't, you know, everybody is talking about the potential of drones. So why don't you see drones? Because the market doesn't exist yet, because the products are not accessible. Market fragmentation, no clear ecosystem, no clear market structure. A lot of partial solution, everybody's trying to do, you know, to address the end user, so they're like, build some partial thing on their partial solution. The, the, the customer is getting a bad solution, doesn't want to use drones anymore. Eventually, the solutions there are not accessible. Either they're uh, partial, or very big, or very complicated, or very expensive. And by the way, solutions there are very functional, right? They're like, people are not creating drones to be efficient. They're making them to you know, be able to fly as much as, as possible. We as an aerospace company believe that we should simplify aerospace technology into seamless high-end products that everyone can use. And this is what you can see in our products, right? Our product brings the efficiency of people that used to design planes, real planes to this industry. We're not trying to make a flying selfie camera. We're trying to make planes. And this is what you'll see here. What we are doing is creating fully a very advanced, full autonomous, full drone-based solution. Now let's talk about this drone for a second. When you look at this product, it's pretty different than products that you saw until now, I assume. Why it's a tree copter, it looks kind of different. Let's talk about it. This drone has unprecedented capabilities of 55 minutes of flight time, 55, five, 55, 55, zero kilometers in range, 140 kilometers per hour, mesh network ability, multi-stream ability, encryption, and a lot of other goodies that you can read in the spec. So how can we achieve that with such a small drone? When you look at the shape, the shape is very aerodynamical, right? This is like the shape of a wing to create the lift. The tricopter design is very efficient because you have less engine, so less electricity, less drag, less weight. So why wouldn't everybody do, and then it could be much faster, etc. Why wouldn't anybody, why won't everybody do quadcopter, uh, tricopters? Because it's very complicated. Quadcopter is easy, you can just download, you know, uh, 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 and off the shelf, some sort of you know open source solution, and you know the, the rotation is easy. Here, how will you rotate? So what we we actually had to invent and patented this servo that allows you to rotate, allows you to navigate, and then allows you to be much more stable. The combination of this unique shape that we designed and patented, together with full carbon fiber hole that we produce, right? We produce carbon in mass manufacturing abilities. Right? in our unique way. So it's very strong, but also very light. So you have three copter, carbon, wow. lithium silicon battery, get you to 55 minutes of flight time. Now, it's all about efficiency because you're trying to make an efficient drone. There's nothing that you see in this drone that is off the shelf. These rotors, according to our spec. This motor, we don't produce the motor, obviously, but it's according to our spec, right? Everything inside is according to our spec. We don't trust no one. And I think that this is part of what we're talking about. We understood early on, because if you look at the fragmented market, you look at the do-it-yourself solution, you look at the lack of ecosystem, right, of, 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 part, of parts, we understood early on that in order to make a sufficient product, you actually really have to make everything by yourself. So we have the drone, unprecedented capabilities, durability, it's weather resistant, IP52, which means rain, and wind of 80 meters per second. It's very hard because of the carbon and it's very accessible because, again, we believe that you should not be able, you, you shouldn't be an F 16 pilot in order to be able to fly a drone. You shouldn't go through weeks of training. I want you to look at this. This is our ground station made with an iPad that we put another battery for extended hours, six more hours. 
with extended Wi-Fi and it's easy to use just like a prosumer drone. You don't need all these sticks. You don't need the big boxes, right? So this is part of this machine being accessible. And this is in semi-autonomous or, or what if you're planning an autonomous machine now? This drone has an accuracy of one centimeter when it lands because of the LiDAR combination, of course, of GIS, GPS. We have two GPSs in this. The two GPS allows for much better accuracy. The LiDAR allows for much better accuracy. So what is the solution? We have the drone, easy to use operating system, and then we have versatile exchangeable payloads. So what we have now, we have day, day night, and day thermic. Again, we're, we, what we want to do, we want to integrate various sensors according to various needs. We actually created a protocol that allows you to exchange payload, obviously that we integrated before, like you exchange a lens in your camera. Why? Again, the issue of accessibility. We believe that, you know, if you're a service provider using this drone, you should be able to have a drone that you can use for a lot of different applications. And in general, when we look at the market, we see the market like the smartphone market. You should have a platform, an operating system, application that we provide, but then you want some other applications. So in drone application is software that you can download and, and payload, hardware. Yeah, let's do it. Let's integrate other things. Let's work with companies. Let's work with partners. Again, what I told you that we came here to do. So, so this is part of what makes this drone very accessible. Now, we talk about autonomous, right? Eventually, when we look at autonomous, autonomous is a mean to an end, and the end is to make drone accessible. Again, accessibility. You don't need to be able to we want you to be able to fly it because it's easy, but eventually you don't need to fly it. You, it needs to fly by itself. And this is why we created the Nest. So the Nest is a smart docking station that allows behind visual line of sight operation without any human interference. The Nest is connected to the operating system, to the ground station. The drone and the Nest get the, the, the command in tandem for a mission. It's open, the drone goes, the Nest closes. Finish the job, the drone come back, the nest opens, and you have a battery exchanger there, a robotic battery exchanger with four uh, batteries. Just exchange batteries and allows you to continue a mission or allows you to increase your range. Let's say you came 50 kilometers, you need another battery, switching and going. So this is the, the full solution when we're talking about the Atlas Pro. But then again, as I said, we're not just a, you know, we're not a drone company. Drones are a part of it. We're an aerospace company. As an aerospace company, we also create UAVs. And the UAV that we created is the Blue Jay that you see above me. So the Blue Jay is a 3.5 wingspan UAV with six hours of flight time, 300 kilometers in range. And it fits to either security HLS missions or long range or remote infrastructure inspection. This UAV, beside being a great tool, is another statement about what we believe as a company. Right? We're not here to make flying selfie cameras. We're here to simplify aerospace technology and bring it to the mass and to make these pieces accessible and to make them beneficial for people. This is what we're here for. In, in, in the context of what we're doing here, we're here to launch the products. The Atlas Pro is launched, basically. You can, through our distributor, you can order it. We're selling in Europe also. The Nest and the, and the Blue Jay will be available around Q2 2018. So this is one part. The second part is we're looking for partnership in several other industries. We don't believe that we know, the, we know everything, right? We're, we're doing you know, security, we're doing infrastructure inspection. It's our sweet spot. But you know, agriculture, construction, we don't just want to do another application. We don't want to be part of this market that creates endless solutions that nobody needs. We want to see what is the solution that people are using and again, like a smartphone, right? You have, you have your Safari here. But if you want Waze, download Waze, right? Because this is what most people use. You don't have to use other things. So this, is our, this is our approach. So we're here looking for partnerships. We're here in, we're in general looking for partners to teach us problems, right? One of the problems of the market is that there is a, the guys with the solution don't know the problems of the industry and the guys in the industry don't know the drones could solve their problems, right? So we're looking to partner with bigger organizations that wants to solve problems in a very interesting way, that are interested in sharing some problems with us. And you know, that way you're also like creating solutions from ground up, from the bottom up. You don't just download on someone in the mine here, I mean, use this drone. Let's understand things from the people that are actually working there. Thank you for joining us. We're really excited to see more of how UAV and drones are just part of a larger commercial applications. Of course, stick with us if you want to see more from Interdrone 2017, and of course more on the great drones that fly through the air.
Be sure to give us that thumbs up if you like what you've seen here, and subscribe and hit that bell icon if you'd like to see what comes next. Take care all, and fly safe.